So we reached Tokyo. The third day we were there, we traveled out to Tokyo Disneyland. My son and I went uh, underneath this giant 10-story volcano to do this ride, journey to the center of the Earth. And we get to the end of the line. There's like 500 people in line. And we're thinking, this is going to be a long wait. And all of a sudden, we feel the rumbling. We say, wow, this is really, and it gets stronger. Wow, this is great. But then everybody sank to their knees and covered their heads. And it continued to get stronger and stronger and stronger. You could see the blood draining from everyone's faces as they realized this was maybe the big one that was going to hit Tokyo. We were truly um, alarmed for our lives. And then the news started to come out that there had been a flooding of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. And I couldn't understand what people were saying, but I could see the pictures of the nuclear power plant and the alarm. Unfortunately, we had to cut our trip short. And about uh, 24 hours after we left, there was news that radiation levels in Tokyo were uh, spiking about 100 times to what they had been before. So, you know, I thought we had just gotten out in time. I became much more sensitive to this issue of how we could have safe nuclear power. I also learned a lot more about radiation. I discovered that the limits that people set on radiation emissions are so low and so careful that um, actually even people in Tokyo were probably just fine. But at the time, we didn't know that, and we were panicking. And it was the panic that was more important than the actual radiation. The actual radiation was medically insignificant. It was the panic that could cause uh, the great damage to society. Sure. Most people saw Fukushima, panicked, and said, let's stop nuclear power. And in fact, they went out and protested in Germany, and they did. That, in my mind, is not the rational reaction. It is an understandable reaction. But if you look at the big picture, where the world is overpopulating, we're using up all our resources, and we desperately need an abundant, low-cost, clean energy source, the answer is not to back away from nuclear. The answer is to do it better. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is today. That's why, even though there's not an enormous market and demand for new nuclear in the U.S., this is the right time to invest to, invest, to create the next generation of nuclear power.